What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. In this next question, we're told that the volume of a cylindrical can is given with this expression, V of X is equal to two pi X cubed minus 20 pi X squared plus 64 pi X minus 64 pi. And we have two questions we have to answer. So we have to find a possible expression for the radius and the height of this can. And then using those expressions in part A that we found, we have to find a factored expression for the surface area of the can. So first off, this is a cylindrical can and we know that the volume of a cylindrical can is going to be what? It's pi r squared h. And that's where the radius and the height is. So what we have to do is we have to take this volume expression over here and try to put it in this format. And if it's in this kind of format, then it's going to be easy for us to see what's the radius what is the height? And to get this in this format, what we have to do is we have to take this and factor it. And once we factor it, it's in this format, we get the radius and height. What we can do then is we can, for part B, find the surface area of this can. And the surface area for a cylinder, just as a reminder, is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So that's what we're going to be using for part B. So to start off with part A, we got to take this expression, we have to factor it. Now, notice how initially what we can do is for the coefficients in front, notice that we could take out a 2, right? We have a 2 here, 20, 64, 64. Also notice we could take out a pi. We could take out a pi here, pi there, pi there, pi there. Pi is just a constant. So that's what I'm first going to do. I'm going to first take out a 2 pi from everything. And then if you divide all of these expressions by 2 pi, what you'd be left with, notice that 2 pi goes fully away here, so you'd be left with x cubed. 20 pi divided by 2 pi gives us 10, so we'd be left with minus 10x squared. 64 pi divided by 2 pi would give us 32, so we'd have uh, 32x over here and then we'd end up with minus 32 at the end. All right, so if you took this 2 pi and you distribute it in this bracket, you would end up with that expression. And now what we want to do, we want to take this bracket and then factor it. So notice we can't take out any more constants. We can't really do this by grouping either, right? We could take out an x squared from here, we'd have an x minus 5, and then from here we could take out a 32, but then we'd have an x minus 1, and then these two brackets aren't the same. So can't do it by grouping, so we're going to have to use the factor theorem. So what we would have to do is try to plug in a bunch of numbers, so plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 2, etc., etc., until we get this expression here in the brackets equaling 0. And if you try these numbers, actually plus 2, if you plug in 2 for all the x values, it would make that bracket 0. And so by the factor theorem, we know that x minus 2 is going to be a factor of this. And to get the remaining factor, we would take this and divide it by x minus 2. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to do the dividing here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to rewrite it over here. So this is where our main factoring is going to be. But then all the work I'm going to do here. So we're going to take this and we're going to divide it by uh, x minus 2. Right, so x goes into x cubed how many times? x squared times. So then we'll have x squared times x, which is x cubed, and then x squared times negative 2, which is minus 2x squared. Then we would subtract these. The x cubes cancel out, then we'll have negative 10x squared minus negative 2x squared, which is like negative 10x squared plus 2x squared, which is minus 8x squared plus 32x, like that. Then x goes into negative 8x squared minus 8x times, negative 8x times x is negative 8x squared, and then negative 8x times negative 2 gives us positive 16x. 
All right, so we're going to subtract those, negative 8x squared, net out to 0, 32x minus 16x gives us positive 16x. And then we bring the 32 down. And then x goes into 16x 16, 16 times. And then 16 times x is 16x. 16, 16 times negative 2 is negative 32. And then notice when we subtract these two, we get a remainder of 0. And like we should, because as we said, x minus 2 is a factor. So this remainder, if you're dividing a polynomial by a factor, the remainder should always be zero. And so now, notice we took this expression, or this bracket, and we factored it into this and that right there. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to rewrite it as 2 pi x minus 2, and then we'll have x squared minus 8x plus 16, like that. And then notice, we have a quadratic left. And x squared minus 8x plus 16, notice that that's a perfect square trinomial. This is going to factor into x minus 4 times x minus 4, x minus 4 squared, like that. So this bracket factors into that. So I'm going to write that here. So we fully factored it, and now notice that we have this in a closer format to that. So we have v equals pi r squared h, and then I'm going to write out this right under it. So we have v equals 2 pi x minus 2 x minus 4 squared. So what we got to do is we got to kind of mix and match these, take this, put it in this format. So notice there's no 2 in front here. And then notice that we have an r squared and then we have an x minus 4 squared. So we could kind of tell that the radius is going to be x minus 4. And then this 2 times x minus 2, I'm going to put that at the end. That's actually going to be the height. So I'm going to rewrite this as pi x minus 4 squared times 2 times x minus 2, like that. And so now notice pi, pi, x minus 4 squared, r squared, and then we have the h, which is that entire expression right there. And so that answers part a for us. So we have the radius equaling x minus 4, Right, r squared, x minus 4 squared, and then the height is all of this, 2 bracket x minus 2, or if you wanted to expand that, it'd be 2x minus 4. I'm going to keep it factored for now. So h equals 2 bracket x minus 2. So those right there are the answers for part A. Those are the expressions for the radius and the height. So now... Part B says, using those expressions, find a factored expression for the surface area. Now, the surface area, as we said, is this over here. So, the surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h for a cylinder, just in general. Now, we're going to have to give a factored expression. If it didn't say a factored expression, we could just plug in the r x minus 4 here, then we could plug in the x minus 4 there, and then for the h, we could plug in the 2 bracket x minus 2, and then maybe expand everything, but they wanted factored. So what I suggest doing before plugging this in here is actually factoring this. We can actually factor this general expression. Notice we could take out a 2 pi r. Right There's a 2 pi r in both expressions, and when we do that, this divided by 2 pi r, the, two can't, uh, the twos cancel out, the pi cancels out, the r squared divided by r would just leave us with a single r. And then the 2 pi r came out, and we were left with an h right there. Right, so we factored the general expression. This and this are the same thing. And now it's going to be easier to plug in this here. It's already going to be somewhat factored for us. So notice we'll have s equals 2 pi, the r, is the x minus 4. And then in this bracket here, we'll have r plus h. So we'll have x minus 4 plus the height 2 
bracket x minus 2. So this is factored here, this portion. We just have to simplify this. And when we distribute the 2, we'll end up with 2x minus 4. So I'll just put that actually instead. And then just simplify this, 2x plus x. So let's rewrite this first. And we'd be left with uh, 2x plus x, which is 3x. And then negative 4 minus 4 is minus 8. And then we can't take anything further out of that. We can't factor that bracket any further. Right? So that would be the factored expression for the surface area of this scan. And the way we did that is we first found the radius and the height in part A, then took those, plugged them into the surface area formula, and we end up with that. Right, so those are the two answers for A. That's the answer for 